I'm Don Kegerice, and this is my wife, Kathy. Uh, we decided this year to put a show together and share both of us. Uh, Kathy's strong point is photography. She also does uh, pastels and watercolors and recently started doing acrylics. Most of my paintings are all acrylics and I pretty much stick to landscape. Uh, one thing we wanted to show in this show was how people see things differently. Uh, so we took a photograph of Kathy's and set it up and uh, set her easel up on this side and mine on the other side and we both painted a picture from that. And uh, in knowing this, we were still amazed at the finish, how differently each picture was. Looking at the same one, come up with two almost completely different paintings, which proves a point that everybody sees things differently is from someone else. They see it their way. And I think what makes a successful artist is painting what you see, not what somebody tells you or try to please someone else, but do it like you see it and feel it. Uh, this holds true with a lot of things in life. Everybody sees everything differently and should function within that and not try to please other people with what you do. I've, I've been in shows where I thought, even question a particular picture, whether it was good enough to put in the show, and went ahead and put it in the show and it was the first one it sold. So someone saw that picture completely different than I did when I painted it. And I don't only paint from seeing things, I have to be emotionally committed. I have to have a some kind of an emotional deep feeling about the subject before I'll paint it. Just to paint a th thing to paint it is just, I just, it never works out. And the, the biggest reward in, that an artist can have, and I had that experience right here. I had it in the show right here and the person went over and looked at it and called me over and he had tears in his eyes and started telling me what that picture made him think about emotionally. And the, the greatest reward was it was these same emotions I had when I painted it. For me, it is a memory of that moment in time and that sh shouldn't be duplicated. It should be interpreted to the way the person is looking at it. That makes me feel much better. It's having them be able to put their perspective on it makes me feel much better. Well, I think the one that's on the wall here the, is a picture of a good friend who is also an artist. Her name is Reva. We were visiting her one day, and I asked if I could take her picture. She was sitting outside her house. She said yes. So I took the picture, and, and Don said, maybe I'll Maybe I'll do something with that. And uh, she said, okay. And it turned out really good. And I think she would be pleased. She's a portraiture painting, painter, artist. And I think she would, would have enjoyed seeing Dawn's work. I get so discouraged that you see old people quit and you go in a nursing home and, and you see people just sitting there staring at the wall. And uh, you try to talk to them and they say, well, you know, I'm 80 years old, my life's over. I'm 91 now and I'm nowhere near thinking about quitting or sitting down. You're limited, you can't do as much, but if I can only do 60%, I want that 60%. And this applies to anyone or anybody and, and to us, it's especially our home and our art and our life.